Hi humans, my name is Nell and I'm a hearing dog for deaf people. I work alongside Jess, who is my recipient. She's also known as the Crone Alone and Nana P. So, I know you humans sometimes have difficulties with your mental health and I wanted to really help out by giving you suggestions from a dog's point of view. Because I guess to us, although we do get down sometimes, life is an awful lot more simple. So, settle down and enjoy the ride. Okay, so tip number one is to be fully present. Wherever you are and whatever you're doing, remember you're not a human doing. You're a human being. So my next tip is to spend time in nature. Very, very important for your health, physical and mental. Being mindful and just being present in nature as you walk is so good for you. Now me and my human go out every single day, come rain or shine. But any distance you can manage is going to be a bonus. So give it a try. Okay, my next one is something my human keeps talking about. It's negative ions. Now, I don't really know what they are, but it does mean that we get to go to the beach. Um, you can find out more if you do a search, but... Basically, I think we need these negative ions because they stabilize your mood and they influence something called serotonin, which again is something you humans seem to need quite a lot of. But do your research and you can find these in abundance by the sea or by waterfalls and other places like that. So go and enjoy yourself. Now you know what they say, I've heard it said by humans, a little bit of what you fancy does you good. For me, it's my ball. Love my ball, any day, any time, any place. Got a human being with me? Wonderful, because they get to throw the ball and I get to run and catch and find it. What about you then? Do you like reading a book? Do you like taking a nice bubble bath? Do you like sitting down with a nice cup of tea? Chatting to a friend? Watching a great film, comedies are good because they make you laugh. Which leads me right on to my next tip for you. Spend time with people you love. That's Gomez, by the way. He's the grey cat. Love him. Jess, my recipient, she's all right. We get to go places and do stuff. And, do you know, spending time with people you love is the best thing in the world. Oh, and then there's Hector. Gotta love Hector. He's the new kid on the block. And I have lots of other people in my life that I'm very lucky to know who look after me every now and again, take me for a walk, give me treats. Can't have enough treats, although, as I said before, just a little bit of what you fancy. Not too much. Friends come in all shapes and sizes. And do you know what? I think it's about being accepting. Seeing that everybody, animals included, have something to offer. We're all different. So enjoy it. And talking of difference, we all know people, or animals in my case, who can be a little bit odd, a little bit different. And do you know what? It is okay. I believe in live and let live. You know, letting people do their thing as long as they're not doing any harm, mind you. No harm. But just accept people for who they are and enjoy that rich diversity in life. Do you know, it makes things so much easier. And we're all doing our best. We really are. Now, 
Another way that I like to be fully present is to use my senses. For me, number one sense, oh, it's got to be my sense of smell. I like to take notice. I like to know what's going on, who's been around, what's happening. You might have a different sense of smell. Now, Jess, she can't hear Come on, very then. well. So I think she uses her eyes a lot. And also she seems to like the sense of touch. She's quite a tactile person. But it's about using all your senses. That is what it means to be alive. you really wouldn't want to taste some of the things that I taste touching you know just go with a flow be curious be inquisitive you know like little humans you know kids ah that's what they call them kids yeah be curious be inquisitive Right, so my next one, napping. Napping is marvellous. You know, very, very important for your well-being. If you don't sleep all that well at night, and I know some of you don't, I never have a problem myself, but take a nap during the day. Do you know what, when we're on our walk, if I've done a lot of running, I just stop where I am, drop down on the spot. And I'm not suggesting you want to do the same, but take a nap, take a break, stop. You don't have to be on the go all the time. Remember what I said earlier? You're a human being, not a human doing. You can even have a nap with friends, if it takes your fancy. Me and Hector, we, we quite like to snuggle up. Very, very good for you. Okay, food, eating, love it, love it. Have to be careful though, nothing wrong with a treat, but it's gotta be now and again. Gotta eat well. Oh, right, I absolutely love this one. This is about being kind and being gentle. To, to everyone, but particularly people that have different needs to you or are smaller than you. Just about being tolerant and accepting people and uh, just letting them be. If somebody does something kind for you, pay it forward. Do something kind for somebody else. It's, uh, it's a hard enough life as it is. And a little kindness goes a very, very long way. well that's about it from me i really hope that's helped give you some ideas but finally don't take life too seriously have a laugh have a joke have fun whatever rocks your boat you know life's too short so enjoy it enjoy spending time with your friends and enjoy watching them be a bit daft too
So. All right, last one is, but very, very, very important. Always remember, you are beautiful. Now me, I don't need anyone telling me I'm beautiful. I just know it. And you are too. You're beautiful, you're precious, you're loved, and your life, even if it's hard at the moment, is worthwhile. It is a very, very precious thing. And don't you forget it. And do you know what? I love you. I do. So that's me, Nell, the hearing dog. And if you like what me and my human are doing, subscribe to the Crohn's channel. Thanks for that, Nell. That was really informative. Um, Crone here, otherwise known as Jess. Just want to talk to you a little bit, very quickly, about hearing dogs for deaf people. I started to lose my hearing after my youngest son was born 25 years ago and uh, was eventually diagnosed with many ears disease and ended up having many ears go bilateral on me and basically lost all my hearing. Um, I got to the stage where hearing aids were no good and I now wear bone anchored hearing aids and I'm happy to talk to you about that another time. I have so much respect and gratitude towards hearing dogs for deaf people. That's Zena. She was my first dog. She was absolute nutcase and so lovable. She was a flat coat golden cross who was lucky enough to meet Princess Anne and was awarded a runner up in life changing hearing dog of the year. And she really was wonderful. Taught with me in, uh, oh, one, two, three, four schools, I think. And as you can imagine, was incredibly popular. Um, sadly, she died a couple of years back and then I got Nell. But Hearing Dogs is the most amazing charity. They talk about deafness as the hidden or invisible disability and I think that's so true because generally speaking you can't see that people are deaf. Um, hearing dogs rely exclusively on fundraising and donations and if you pop on over to their website you will be able to find out what they do and if you're interested in supporting the charity how you could do that. There's a great British dog walk and I'm lucky enough to have one coming up close to me at uh, Blickling Hall. So I'll be doing that. But uh, if you're interested in reading more, head on over to their website and have a look. Okay, have a wonderful day. Bye guys.